Yeah, we do a lot of cool stuff in here. Biology labs on USC's campus have a lot of cool stuff. But Dr. Vicki Vance and her research team are on the brink of something brand new. Huge therapeutic potential. My God, you could just, you know, if you could just get those microRNAs back in, you could like cure cancer. Vance is talking about microRNA, which is a molecule much smaller than DNA that helps with regulating genes. And Vance's team is using that microRNA in genetically modified plants to try and block cancer. In the future, if this succeeded, knowing that, like, you know, I helped them with it, that would be awesome. Vance read about the potential of microRNA in a Chinese research study a few years ago. So we thought, hey, maybe this is what we can do. We can design plants to make tumor suppressor microRNAs. And after those plants are grown, then you would just eat them. Yes, eat them. The process would be non-toxic, and unlike chemotherapy, it would have no major side effects. The team did an initial study on mice and... It looked like it worked. Big reduction in tumor burden. John MacArthur is the graduate student working on the research. He gave me a tour of the facilities where they first grow the plants. They may look like clovers to the average eye, but the scientific name is Arabidopsis, and MacArthur knows that they hold great potential. This is just a cheap way to help people prevent their colon cancer from even developing. And all the work starts right here. The plants are grown here in the growth chamber, and this one right here is about to be harvested. After it's harvested, it's taken up to the lab where it is ground into smaller pieces, and then it's freeze dried. And after all of that, they send it to be made into mouse chow. See here. MacArthur and Vance don't actually deal with the mice, but they do make sure the chow is prepared perfectly before it's sent off. So this is what a finished product will look like. And if their second trial works, Vance says humans would be able to take it in a pill form. The idea that now it might, you know, do something good for the world, that you might be contributing something to society, Wow, that makes it so much better, right? It does make it better because this is research that could change the way we all look at cancer treatments. In Columbia, Abby O'Brien.